Hi everyone, uh, this is a very interesting situation. Uh, I got a question uh, a week ago from uh, my subscriber. He asked me about uh, what need to do if a uh, very high hump on the middle of the room. How to solve this problem. So after removing ca carpet, uh, it all always, you know, problem. You never know what uh, under uh, this carpet I found the on the middle very high spot there is a concrete was cracked you see the crack on the middle and where I put straight edge there is the highest spot also uh, all floor is uh, going up to the to the outside wall so it's already higher than in the existing floor but what I have to do here, I have to make floor flat with this tile in the bathroom and also I have to join floor to the existing floor. So tile higher than subfloor, uh, if I make it flat uh, uh, hardwood, approximately 3.8. So I have to add self-leveling compound. Um, this side to the tile it's um, higher and uh, it's some in some uh, close to the closet there is a uh, very low need to put approximately half inch floor so what I have to do in this situation first of all I have to grind edge about uh, quarter or three eight this edge on the middle this crack this area where i have to add to existing floor new floor i will leave it so this is the hardwood what i have to install this hardwood 916 it's exactly uh, match it with color and it fit um, to this floor with height so you see here if i put it down this is around 3.8 I need to add self-leveling compound so like I said first of all I will grind this edge approximately quarter or 3.8 then I wanna remove this painted spots because self-leveling compound not bonded well to the this paint and glue not bonded well to the paint so I'm using grinder with turbo blade why I'm using turbo blade because it's very easy to cut the concrete and I have to be careful here because under the uh, concrete here uh, radiant heat pipes so very careful need to grind because sometimes uh, when the guys install the pipes it's floated up and will be very close to the uh, concrete surface I saw it many times when I did uh, floor but usually um, it should be between top surface of concrete subfloor uh, till the pipes approximately half inch so now I grinded spots to the that lower side uh, with paint uh, I grind the edge and, and put foam to protect any leaks put silicone on bottom of the foam then I found the spot where the exactly should be 3 8 uh, uh, close to the uh, tiles to the bathroom so I'm playing from the, the tile of the bathroom the heights you know of the self leveling compound what I have to add then I will add this self leveling compound right here why I'm not grinding as much as I can this edge because <clears throat> if I will be grind uh, first day uh, a lot of uh, 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 this edge it didn't put self-loving compound 
I have to next day put self-leveling compound it's not enough and I have to do it in third day third call, uh, uh, second code so what I did I first day I grind a little bit then I add the uh, self-leveling compound next day I can grind and add one more self-leveling compound so I will save one day so I'm doing part of uh, it's just from my experience just need to do both leveling grinding and next day leveling grinding and I save time so this is the tripods what the tripod showed me they showed me height how much safe leveling compound I have to add so tripods uh, is bottom plate you see on the middle I just exactly rise it up till the uh, laser line it should be on the bottom of the edge of this plate so by this plate I have to fill up the concrete very easy very nice tools if you needed these tools I guessing for whole professionals who is doing uh, leveling these tools uh, very important so I sell these tripods you can find the link in description so also I have a laser why uh, I offer laser as well because this laser uh, has very uh, low bottom uh, laser line and not many of lasers uh, has the same uh, uh, the, lo the lowest uh, line on the bottom very easy to find the lower and higher spot with this laser so now after put primer don't forget put primer it's really important after put primer I'm uh, set up tripods very fast I put here 12 tripods for this small place why I put so uh, a lot uh, because uh, for me very visible where I have to add self leveling compound more whereas uh, less you see it because place very small but uh, uh, elevation too big so where where is the edge of this laser you see the green line I put um, this pencil uh, line uh, because when I take off a laser I have to see the edge how far I have to put self-leveling compound for this small place I put four bags and um, you see it's not uh, very hard to do it if you have tripods you just fill up the self-loading compound by the bottom plate that's it easy then remove tripods and roll it out make nice and flat keep with you calc it's very easy to find if you find some leaks very easy to fill up this is already next day and uh, what I put yesterday self flowing compounds already dry so now height uh, of the sub floor match it with uh, if I put uh, hardwood it will be much it with style it will be flat but you see there is a still big gap and I need to grind this edge more this side it's it's really bad by the middle of the room uh, from the wall uh, if, if you fall if you will fall off this crack but from uh, uh, close by to existing floor and closet this side it's pretty pretty good needs just little small grinding so what I will do I will grind this edge again and then fill the spots uh, with self-leveling compound so let's go when I finish grinding this edge I wanna grind maybe another quarter inch maybe a little bit less because when I see 
through these cracks i haven't seen any pipes uh, maybe it's very deep so and then on the right side left side i will uh, fill up with um, self-leveling compound make nice slope to the tiles so now i'm grinding uh, also i'm using scraper to clean up the uh, uh, spots with um, uh, paint I do it always it's really important do it too so here is the uh, final what is uh, left when I finish whole floor grinding so now this edge I put down very much and uh, but you see what this small straight edge from the right side uh, there is sometimes approximately you know three eight sometimes half almost half inch on the middle the floor is very bended and uh, what i wanna do i wanna fill up this side more also i wanna tell you about one more tricky things you see the first of all when i did leveling I raise this uh, side up and now from the middle of the crack I will do sloping to that side what I already level it so I already make it higher you know side from the tile and then sloping it's really uh, when I finish it it's not will be visible uh, this middle uh, uh, crack on the middle also you see uh, from the left side I will level maybe just there is one eight some, some somewhere uh, somewhere a little bit more I will level two but not coming close by to existing floor so when I level both sides right and left side from the crack it will be slightly you know uh, sloping to both sides of floor and when I install floor you can't see the un all uh, imperfection don't forget put primer every application of self-leveling compound need to add primer for regular leveling i'm putting more water but for uh, making slow i'm doing thick composition <laughs> It's only why I do this because if it's more liquid, it can be uh, going far away to the smoking side. In this case, it should be like this. You see? Now I'm doing sloping, so very easy need to straight edge and travel. I use a white travel. If you saw my previous video, this travel I am using when, uh, when I am uh, doing plenty patch application. So when you doing flooring job, you have to be artist, you know. So sometimes uh, you can do 100% uh, level, sometimes you uh, doing flat, uh, sometimes you need to do uh, like this job, you see. Uh, I, I didn't know how it's uh, hard uh, to do the small room so i just uh, i guessing i take the carpet off and uh, grind some little spots you know fill up the uh, some lower spot and uh, next day uh, i will fi uh, start installation so usually it will be it's take like you know two maximum three days but now it should be approximately four or five days because after uh, so ap application of self leveling compound i spent here six bags <laughs> i have to wait when it's getting dry and then uh, so I, i'm lucky so after i finish uh, this leveling and grinding i have two days of weekends and during this weekend uh, uh, compound will dry and Monday I will start installation so next video I will show you uh, how I install the floor 
uh, in this room and how it looks like, you know, and how it's visible or not visible. Uh, but everything I explain to customers and they agree what I am doing because no other way to make it uh, better. You see the gap between crack and uh, uh, between uh, that side what I fill up the first time. So it's still uh, around half inch somewhere. So when I finish, it look very, very good if it's compare what was before. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, I understand it's not easy. So in every diff different rooms uh, or uh, floors has so many problems, you know, we need to fix it, but you now have some direction how to do it. If you have any question, don't hesitate, ask me, I will always answer you. See you in next video.